What's up, OD gang? Y'all, it's literally the next day and my NCLEX exam results are up. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I'm actually, all my family is now here in the same place at the same time. Granted, my sister is asleep, but I told her I'm gonna wake her up when I'm ready to open the results. So, about to go see if everybody ready to read the results. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared, y'all. I'm like, I'm so scared. Let's, let's go see, y'all. Let's get into it. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. It's in the blood bag. It's in the blood bag. Soldiers, don't ever doubt yourself. That's right, no ma'am. Don't ever doubt yourself. That's my mom. Mama. Mommy is a nurse. Mama. Believe, Mama. Mama. Sakani. My shirt is heat. Sakani, mommy passed her test. Mommy mm -hmm. is officially a nurse. I know. Say congratulations, mommy. No, night from now you gotta call her nurse mom. Nurse mama. There you go. I like it. Nurse mama. Mama. Nurse mama. So now what? You left Granite City and you went to East St. Louis and you met your people and you've been thriving ever since. So what are you worried about? I mean, it's still. You just gotta make sure that you continue to gravitate towards those kind of people. You know what I mean? People who have a, a for real thirst for the knowledge and have the heart for doing it and not the burnout sort of people who just doing it for the money. You know, and you elevate, you don't stop there. You, you keep learning, you keep growing and you, you turn it into something. This is just a start point. This is just like a foundation. This is not where you, you're gonna end up. I keep telling you, I told your daddy, that's your daddy what I told him. I told him this like about, a couple years ago, I was, him, I was like, you know, some people like, they're hard workers and you know, they were born and you know, like really, you know, get in there and grind and do the thing. I was like, maybe some people would want to be a boss. And I was like, she like you, she a boss. And that's one thing you get from your daddy, you know, like y'all are, and I just see it in you and don't put doubt in yourself. You, you do yourself a disservice when you keep doubting yourself. Because if you stop focusing on the, on the doubt, all that room in your head for the doubt could be filled with other knowledge. You could be filling it up with some other stuff. The doubt taking up too much space. I don't know, I just be scared to, like even though I felt like I passed, I was scared to like, feel like I passed. Cause if I failed, I was gonna be let down. You so. couldn't fail. You had all the right stuff. They gave you everything. You can still be. They, they didn't digest it the way you, you were coming home every day. We don't know what other people were doing. You know what I mean? Like, you were for real. This was your life. This was, you took this in and you made it, you know, what you needed it to be to get what you needed out of it. So, you couldn't do anything but pass it. You couldn't do anything but succeed. Now, if you failed that, I'd have told you that's just not your calling. Because you put too much into it not to be able to pass it. You know what I mean? 
you weren't raising five, six kids and, you know, rushing off to do this and do that. I mean, you were really concentrated and focused on what you were doing. You couldn't, you couldn't fail because you were serious about what you were doing. You applied yourself and you did it. And anything you apply yourself, you can do it. Keep going. Keep going. 